Oh boy, here we go again. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode, we're going to be taking another look at Ubuntu, the best weeaboo OS that we explored over three months ago. Can you believe it's been that long? I honestly can't. And by the way, thanks for over a million views on that video. That's pretty freaking nuts. I guess you like this kind of stuff, so we're doing this again because the folks behind Ubuntu have released a new version, 22.10, Leo Dango. So yeah, it's a thing now and apparently they've added some new programs to this and we're just going to check it out and I figured to mix up this video a little bit, we're going to install it on real hardware. So I've got my totally legit Apple computer over here, which is in fact just an HP Compact 6510B that we installed Mac OS 10 on back in this video from last year and did a couple videos on it actually. So I was thinking, gee, how can we screw Screw that up, and well, installing the best Weeaboo OS kind of sounds like a great way to do that. I gotta grab that now. Well, that's not entirely true. I didn't really need to grab this because there's no disk inside at all. Uh, that's because the ISO file is actually just too large to fit on a regular DVD, a single layer DVD. So I've got a USB flash drive here with the ISO file written to it. And yeah, we're gonna pop into this computer and get started. All right, so here we are, everybody. I've got the computer booted up into its setup utility right now. We're just going to get out of this. I didn't make any changes, but we'll save them anyway. And yeah, I know like at the start of this video, I was kind of making fun of this operating system, but I have to say, I do think it's pretty cool. The pun alone is, and I know I said this in the last video, is like absolutely S tier. But even beyond that, I mean, I think that this is a pretty cool little project. And it goes to show you that there truly is a Linux distro for just about everybody. I mean, if Hannah Montana Linux didn't convince you of that, this certainly must. So we're going to try or install it to boot off of the live CD or live USB rather in this case. Oh, look at that. We got a new boot animation. That's pretty awesome. And yeah, we got that same logo down there at the bottom that we saw on the website. And speaking of the website, by the way, I, when I was on there uh, downloading the image, I discovered that they have a merch store now over on Redbubble, and they've got a few different designs. One of them is this logo. One of them is the cat we saw in the last video. So they've got mugs and... A clock, yeah, if you wanted to buy a clock with the Ubuntu logo on it, you can do that. They got stickers. I mean, they got a bunch of stuff over there. And check this out. They got a dog now on, <laughs> on the installation screen here, just rather on the desktop uh, wallpaper. So, yeah, and you got that Leo Dango subtext there underneath the Ubuntu logo. So we're just going to jump straight into the installation process. And we're just going to go with normal installation. And sure, we'll install third-party software. So it detected Mac OS X. We're just going to erase the entire disk and install Ubuntu to get that crappy operating system off here and put a real OS on here. And so it says changes listed below will be written to the disks. Yes, that's fine. Continue. And we'll just go with the default time zone and our name. Okay, let's go MJD. And okay, it's going to pull the full like... <laughs> Uh, model number here. We'll just get rid of that. We'll just call this uh, best OS. We'll be not best is best OS for the computer name and password MJD MJD. And we're going to log in automatically. All right. Now I want to read what these are. Let's, can we expand this? I guess we can't, but it says recommended by experts. The Ubuntu team experts, Ubuntu is currently the best operating system based in Linux, also surpassing any version of Windows. Ubuntu is an Ubuntu-based distribution now featuring the budgie desktop environment. Being designed with the modern user in mind and the Ubuntu customization, budgie focuses on simplicity and elegance. Okay. So choose a profile picture. So yeah, they've got some like anime profile pictures in here of some characters that I, I don't know who any of these characters are. Uh, but yeah, so you can <laughs> choose from a variety of profile pictures to be the prettiest Ubuntu <laughs> user. Okay, so they're definitely uh, embracing the anime stuff there. With Firefox already installed, Ubuntu has everything you need to browse the web. Ubuntu also includes Chromium pre-installed. So they got Firefox and Chromium, which is nice if you preferred one or the other. Uh, I personally am a Firefox user, so I'm going with Firefox all the way. Are you a programmer? With Ubuntu, you can continue coding with your favorite text editors. Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, and G-Edit are included. That's pretty nice. 
enjoy your music and anime. Rhythm Box, you got VLC, Spotify. Um, yeah, Spotify is a new addition. I believe Rhythm Box is as well. VLC was in the previous version. So, yeah, I assume it's not going to come included with any, like, pirated anime stuff. Uh, APT, what is that? Say goodbye to searching the web or using apt for a software. With GNOME software, you can easily find and install software, your ratings and reviews. Oh, so it talks about GNOME software, little app store browser thing there. So, yeah, that's cool. Enjoy the latest movies. So, yeah, they had a... Uh, in the last one, just kind of like advertising it. I mean, nothing relating to the OS. It was just like, hey, here's some movies you might want to check out. Yeah, I've not seen either of these. I think I've seen one Dragon Ball movie when my friends dragged me to a theater uh, one time <laughs> to, to see one of the movies. Um, yeah, so help and support. Thanks for choosing and installing Ubuntu. Get help with our Discord server, you can go there. For more information and pointers, other useful resources, please visit our homepage. Enjoy and have fun. So, yeah, we'll just let it finish up here. Why don't we expand that, the copying files thing, and yeah, we'll just let it do its thing. All right, and we're done. So we're gonna restart the machine, and there's the boot screen once more. So we've got this welcome program that comes up. We've got a few things on the side here, customization. Yeah, one of the, the big changes that I'm noticing so far is, and you've already seen it from the installer and when we first loaded up from the USB, during the grub boot menu where it said boot to the ubuntu budgie installer so yeah this is based on ubuntu budgie or i'm going to assume that's how you pronounce it and that is the desktop environment that we've got running here and they've also changed the logo down here to open up the apps menu which is of course different in this version compared to the last uh previously it was just kind of a generic you know app icon now they've actually got the pink Ubuntu logo here. So yeah, we can open that up. We've got a nice search thing. We've got, oh, 2048. No way, we've got 2048 on here. That's nice. So yeah, there we go. Gosh, it's been a while since I've played this game, but yeah, it's uh, Gnome 2048. So there you go. But yeah, so you can go through this welcome thing. Let's maybe go through this a little bit. Let's go to, let's see if it's got our system specs here. Uh, accurate. So I did upgrade the RAM to four gigs. It, or this thing had, I think it originally had one gig in it actually. Then I put two gigs in. And then before this video, I upped it to four gigs because that is the recommended amount of RAM. But the minimum, according to the website, is two gigs of RAM. So I could have just left it alone. But I had a four gig kit lying around. So I was like, why not just throw it in here? So yeah, we've got that Intel Core 2 Duo at two gigahertz. That's all correct. And man, let's go to customization. Let's see if they've got some options here. So the user interface, Ubuntu, provides a unique tool to transform the user interface. Uh, so we can click on this here. Okay, so yeah, we can change like the icons. We've got cursors, maybe we wanna make that the DMZ black cursor, which yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Notification position, we'll leave that at top right. Widgets. So you've got a, oh wow, that's a, it's a pretty large uh, pop out there. You got all this like excess room down here at the bottom. Or is that because, oh, that's why. Okay, that makes sense. I'm like, why is this thing so large? Because there's a whole thing up here. But that's interesting that it doesn't just pop out. Like it's scrolled all the way to the bottom. It's interesting how it doesn't just, you know, start like this when you click on it. Because it doesn't even need to have an arrow because it all fits on this th one thing. But yeah, so we can maybe change that to, what's the default? We'll change this to maybe this arc one up here. So yeah, there you go. It changes the windows around a little bit. So that's neat. And we've got the control center here. You can configure just about every aspect of your computer, okay? Oh, so this is like the settings program. So we can turn on Wi-Fi. Oh, airplane mode's on for some reason. That's interesting. We'll turn that off. If I can click here to turn it off. Oh, you know what? It's okay. Hardware airplane mode. Is there a switch on the lap? I think there is. Yeah, there we go. I forgot about that switch or little button here on the laptop to turn on the Wi-Fi. There. So now we're online. So let's uh, get out of that. And let's go. Can you go in here to the desktop wallpapers? Because I want to see. Yeah, background. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, yeah, there are some more in here. So, oh, what is this? They've got a modified version of Bliss in here. Okay, well that immediately intrigues me. Let's get out of that. Well, let's just minimize this rather. So you've got, <laughs> you've got the, uh, I mean, it just looks like some basic Photoshop. You got like a dog here, but yeah, you've got the same, uh, 
wallpaper, or not the exact same wallpaper because they have changed the subtext there, and I think this gradient is a little bit different, but you've got the setup wallpaper that we saw. You've got this one here too. Oh yeah, that's from uh, Moshi Mango. So this is the, the cat I was talking about, but the text has been changed to orange. This one was not in the previous version and I'm guessing this was done for like Halloween and we've got all these photos here a pretty good amount and I don't think any of these were in the original version because these do look different there are some like these here look somewhat similar because there was a photo of Mount Fuji in the original one but these are not the same photos from what I can see so yeah they've definitely added a decent amount of photos in here and, you know, of course, you could add your own. But this freaking Bliss one, this is hilarious to me. So I think we'll just leave that as the background. So I definitely want to check out the user icons. So you can unlock to add users. It'll ask for our password. We'll put that in. So you could add users if you wanted to. Let's just edit. So that's just editing the name. Uh, can we click on here? There we go. So here's all of our default user profile picture so you've got the the one of the cat in here which is the one i'm probably going to select and you can also select a file if you want to use your own at least i i would think it's supposed to pop out with something maybe not there we go it just wasn't completely showing the button so you could add another photo of your own if you want to we'll just select the cat because why not so in terms of programs you've probably seen as i was going through the the menu here we've got 2048 we've got solitaire We've got an archive manager, we've got a little photo program, cheese. There's no webcam on this computer, so that's not <laughs> really gonna do much, but it's there if you were using this on a device that had a webcam. We go over here, we've got Discord. Oh, look at that, there's a new update, so we'll go ahead and download that. But yeah, so you could join their Discord server and tell them just how much you love their operating system. So yeah, we've got Firefox, of course, we've got, uh, let's see, Image Magic, Color Depth equals Q16. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> I assume that string there is not supposed to show up in the application name. Image Magic 6.9.11-60, copyright 2021 or 1990 to 2021. It just closed on us. There's, <laughs> I just can't get over this back here. Uh, yeah, so there's Image Magic. And let's see, what else do we got? Anything that stands out to me. We got drawing. It's probably a standard GNOME program, I would I would assume, right? Yeah, a drawing application for the GNOME desktop. Let's go over to our third page here. I do like, by the way, how it doesn't reset to the first page when you close out of the apps menu. It just stays on whatever page that you're on. So now I'm on the third page, I close out of it, go back into it, and there it is. So it's a nice thing with this uh, desktop environment here. So we've got LibreOffice, we've got Maps, We've got Mahjong, we've got like a Minesweeper clone here. On the fourth page here, we've got Spotify, we've got Steam, we've got Sudoku, we've got Nibbles, Rhythmbox Music Player, Qubit Torrent, that was in the last version. And here's our software app store, GNOME app downloader thingy. We'll just let that start up in the background. And yeah, we've got System Monitor, Thunderbird, VLC, Transmission. I think that's new. I assume this is the Transmission, yeah, the, the BitTorrent client. Yeah, so you got two Torrent clients. You got Qubit Torrent and Transmission. So yeah, here's the software browser. Evidently there's nothing in here right now, just a bunch of blank images. Oh, there we go. So we've got markets, keep track of your investments. We can go to games or learn stuff. And I guess we can open up the welcome program again, which is this thingy here. And oh, this is a little different. This isn't the same thing that we saw when we started up. So choose an option to discover your new operating system. Install software, so you've got a few. Oh, that's nice. So you've got a few little quick shortcuts there. Makeover and layouts. Oh, okay. So you've got, yeah. You can switch appearance really easily. You got a bunch of different, uh, I guess, desktop environments here, or desktop themes. Yeah, several additional budgie desktop compatible themes available. So that's nice. They've got a bunch of stuff in here. Chrome, traditional budgie, Cupertino, the one. I think getting started is what we were at before. Yeah, this is that menu we saw when we started it up. So yeah, that's just one part of this welcome program. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's got a list of features in here. It's got a list of the applications that it includes. You got Steam. In the last couple of years, Linux has become a first-class gaming platform thanks to Valve. Ooh, that's... 
Whew, that's a that's a pretty bold statement to make there, guys. But all jokes aside, there you have it. That is Ubuntu version 22.10. And yeah, I want to give a, a huge thank you to the Ubuntu team because uh, one of the team members actually saw my previous video and got in contact with me and said, hey, we've got this new version out if you want to check it out. And I think that that's pretty cool whenever I make a video and the, the people behind what I'm talking about actually find the video and then message me. It's always really awesome. So thank you to you guys for uh, for checking the video out and for making me aware of this new version. And thank you to all of you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I will see you in the next video.